everyone, Chef Anna here. Did you know we're participating in the TDA's Farm Fresh Challenge? Well, we thought as part of a pledge to making fresh and healthy choices, we'd show you all the delicious homemade smoothies you can make from ingredients right inside your curbside meal bag. So the recipes we're going to be demoing with you today are our blueberry orange smoothie, a carrot cake smoothie, and a cinnamon toast crunch smoothie. You're going to need some equipment for today's recipes, so we've got three different options for you as far as blending your smoothies. First, we've got just a regular blender here. Um, we've got an immersion blender, which you'll need a cup or a bowl to use for that. And then we've also got kind of a one cup blender here as well, our little magic bullet that most of you guys are probably used to seeing. And then an additional ingredient you're going to need is you're also going to need some extra ice for your smoothies. Um, and a spoon, of course. So now that we've got everything we need, let's get started. All right, so for our first demo, we're gonna start with our blueberry orange smoothie. Uh, this is gonna be made from ingredients you can find in several different curbside meal bags. First, we've got our frozen blueberries, typically coming to you guys frozen. We've got a fresh orange. You can either squeeze this um, fresh juice out or and maybe even use a little bit of zest from that. Um, and, or you can also use your orange juice cup. And then we've, of course, got our creamy, non-fat vanilla yogurt. Um, and a little bit of extra ice. So the reason I have some extra ice is uh, it kind of depends. People like their smoothies either a little bit on the thinner side or they like them a little bit um, thicker. Uh, so if you find that your smoothies maybe a little bit too thin, you can add some extra ice in there and that'll thicken it up a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our creamy vanilla yogurt. And we're going to add that right into our blender here. All right. Then we're going to take our orange juice. And we're going to pour about half of our orange juice in there. And we're going to toss our blueberries in. And I like mine a little bit on the thicker side, so we're going to actually just put a little bit of it in there. All right, and like I said, you can either use that orange juice cup or you can also slice this open and use the juice and the zest from that as well. That's your choice. And then we're just going to pop the lid on here and we're ready to get blended. All right, so now that we've got that nice and blended, we're just going to pop the lid off here my cup all ready to go and we're just gonna pour that right into our cup oh, looks great and there you have it a fresh blueberry orange smoothie made from ingredients right inside some of your curbside meal bags so our next smoothie we're going to be demoing today is a carrot cake smoothie um, again from items in some of your curbside meal bags we've got our cup of cinnamon applesauce here we've got some baby carrots and then of course our creamy non-fat vanilla yogurt. So first thing we're gonna do again is toss this vanilla yogurt in there. Then we're going to dump our applesauce, cinnamon applesauce. And we're going to put about half of these carrots in there. Probably comes out to about three or four full carrots. And then again, I'm going to add just a little bit of ice for consistency. If you also find that you want your smoothie to be a little bit thinner, you can also add in just a little bit of milk as well. You guys should have some of those in the curbside bag as well. And now that we've got everything in there, we're going to get to blending. Now that I've got that all nice and blended, I'm going to pop the lid off here. I've got my cup ready to go again. And we're going to pour that right in there. And there you have it, a carrot cake smoothie with fresh ingredients from your curbside meal bag. All right, so our last flavor of the day we're going to be demoing is our Cinnamon Toast Crunch, my personal favorite. Um, with some items, again, from some of our curbside meal bags. Of course, we've got Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, our Cinnamon Applesauce, gonna be using that again, and then our Creamy Non-Fat Vanilla Yogurt. And then again, I've got some ice here for consistency to add just a little bit of texture to it. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to toss our vanilla yogurt in there. Then 
Then we're going to toss in our cinnamon applesauce. And this again is kind of your own, your own choice, whether you want to add a little bit or a lot. I will tell you that if you add too much, it does get kind of a grainy texture. So try not to add like the whole thing in there. I usually add about half. Okay, and then the best part is you've got some left over. Once your smoothie's done, you just toss a few on top and that gives it a nice little crunch also. And then we're gonna toss a little bit of the ice. All right, now that we've got all of our ingredients in there for our Cinnamon Toast Crunch smoothie, we're gonna get to blending. All right, now that we've got that all nice and blended, pop the lid off again, grab our cup, and pour that right in here. And like I said before, if you've got a few Cinnamon Toast Crunches left over, little pieces, I'm just going to toss a few of those on top for some extra crunch. You can use the, a straw with this or a spoon. It's your choice. And there we have it, our Cinnamon Toast Crunch Smoothie made with ingredients right from our curbside meal bags. Some of you have probably noticed that all of these recipes have one thing in common, non-fat yogurt. What's so great about yogurt, you ask? Well, let's take a look. It's rich with important nutrients such as calcium for healthy teeth and bones, B vitamins such as B12 and riboflavin which help protect against heart disease. It's high in protein which supports your metabolism by increasing your energy expenditure. Contains probiotics which support your digestive health. And those same probiotics along with the wealth of vitamins it contains also help strengthen the immune system. So there you have it. Three fun fruity flavors made with items from your curbside meal bags. All you need is a little fresh produce, some yogurt, and a little creativity. Aside from the flavors we just showed you, here are some additional flavors to get you started. for smoothies with ingredients right from your curbside meal bags. But before you go, we'd like for you all to participate in your own Farm Fresh Challenge. Simply create a recipe with ingredients from your curbside meal bag or even some ingredients you might have around the kitchen at home. Then send us a recipe and a photo in a direct message to right here on Facebook for a chance to win this Dairy Max Power Pack. We can't wait to see all the fun, fresh flavors you come up with to fuel up your body and fill up your mind. See you soon!